can see I got this wall fan. It's a pretty sweet wall fan. You got this thing here, you pull off, and it's like a controller, and you can turn the bloody thing on. Where's on? On. See? Woo! You can change all the speeds and stuff, and turn it off, and make it move, and it rotates on the wall. And I put it on there with just the four include. There's a there's a rod that goes in there, and it's like a plate with four bolts, right? That it came with. That it says in the manual to put on the wall. This fan is fucking heavy. Like, it weighs... Jeez, just picking that up. That... Oh, fuck! Oh, it's heavy, okay? Now, this wall... <laughs> this looks ridiculous. But anyway, so I put it on with the four bolts with the square plate and the bar. And I put the thing on there. And I even used Celastic as well as four bolts. And after about... Maybe, I would say, 60 seconds. I was like, oh, sweet. So that's all right. And then we... <laughs> and fell off. And it ripped all the paint off the wall that was holding it. Like, it just... The Celastic was stuck to the paint, pretty much. So anyway, I stuck it all back on. Put the original bolts back in, which wasn't very good. In the same position, that is, which I probably shouldn't have done. But then I thought, fuck it, I'll just 3D print something. So I designed these brackets. So there was four brackets that went on. And then I, you know, four, two bolts each side of each bracket. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen 15, 16 bolts holding it on. And then all celastic on as well. And then I made these other two brackets on the 3D printer. And they got four, eight, eight, 16 bolts holding them on. And I thought, Jesus Christ, that's fucking as ugly as fuck. So, I designed this thing. Ugh, it's like a, that's all in, that's all support. But it's like a disc, like a, like a plate, a bowl. It's like a bowl. And that'll all just tear away. But I thought, I was going to make a video, because this will go over there. It'll go over there on the wall, and it'll be like a disc with all these bolt holes. I reckon that'll look a little bit better, and it'll hold it on even better as well. But um, I was going to say, the stringing. Now, you see these little tiny parts here? I was thinking on Cura, I'm like, oh, they're, those little support materials aren't going to hold. They're so skinny. But because it's stringing so bad, like, look at this stringing. Like, look how bad the stringing is. That's like actually a benefit in sometimes, like in some cases, when you have stringing so bad, it's like string that holds up little tiny bits of infill. People say, how do you get rid of stringing? It's like, well, you don't really have to, mate. It's good. All those little, little shitty bits of Support material wouldn't have, wouldn't have wouldn't have held on if it wasn't for the stringing.